American college student Amanda Knox was back in an Italian courtroom yesterday. The 23-year-old was convicted of murdering her British roommate in 2007 and sentenced to 26 years in prison. She's appealing the charge, and her lawyers finally believe she got her day in court. NBC's Keith Miller explains. Police procedures projected onto a screen drew an audible gasp from the packed courtroom. Uh, I think there was some surprise and some amusement from some people in court as to the sort of bungled initial police operation. A crucial piece of evidence was dropped on the floor to be photographed, then lost, only to be retrieved 46 days later. Video like this showed officers walking unsupervised through the crime scene. One officer handled evidence with dirty gloves. All this and more led independent forensic scientists appointed by the court to label the prosecution's DNA evidence as contaminated and unreliable. Amanda Knox showed no reaction, but her defense team felt she finally had her day in court. We were not surprised because we knew that many of the scientific evidence uh, were not reliable, that uh, the protocol were not respected. The most damaging testimony to the prosecution's case concerned the alleged murder weapon. The knife retrieved from Knox's boyfriend's apartment did not, in the view of the scientists, have any DNA material from the victim on the blade, as the prosecution had insisted. The appeals judge has set Saturday for the next hearing, allowing the prosecution to rebut this latest testimony. Keith Miller, NBC News, Perugia.